Well, as vaccinations continue to roll out and summer draws closer, many parents are wondering if it is actually safe to travel and participate in other activities with their kids. All right, Jessica Formoso caught up with an expert who has some important advice. We're not just going out to play with people that we don't know. Liz Stern, entrepreneur, author, and mother of three, says she will be spending more time outdoors this summer, but her kids will continue to wear the mask. I'm still taking every single precaution. Stern got COVID last year, and even though she and her husband have already been vaccinated, they are not taking any chances. Most of my daughter's play dates, she's younger. Um, they happen outside, and they happen within her pod of friends, so we know who those friends are, where, who the parents are, with, like, where they've been. Indoor play dates, she says, are still on pause for her family, something Dr. James Conway, professor of pediatrics at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine, agrees with. Indoors with people that are from outside your bubble is just asking for trouble. That's because he says kids are a source of infection. And with these more transmissible variants that are around, we are starting to see some kid-related outbreaks. And so unfortunately, I think the best thing parents can do is make sure that they're vaccinated and that all the other adults in their circle are vaccinated. So what safe activities can vaccinated parents do with their kids who have not yet received a vaccine? The outdoor things you know, are really going to be where it's at, whether it's sporting events as those things open up, zoos, parks, all those things are in play. And again, you know, I think it's reasonable if it's a reasonably safe family that they're playing with, I think it's reasonable for those kids to drop masks and to be cautious. Outdoor pools, another option. However, getting on a plane with an unvaccinated child, he says, is a no-no, at least right now. Until we've got all of the adults having had an opportunity to get vaccinated and get more towards to the point where 80 or so percent of the adults are immunized, I think that it's going to be still risky for kids to be traveling on planes. And Dr. Conway says if you decide to do indoor play dates, he says make sure you do it with families who are in your bubble. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News.